Hi, I'm Ron from The Code Guys. Welcome. Today I want to show you how to code your web pages using a typical page layout. This page you are looking at contains a picture of a web page that uses color to indicate sections of the page. At the top is the header area which introduces the page. It might contain the title of the site in text or an image banner. It may also contain links to other pages within your site. On the left is, is an area where you might put your links. This may be referred to as your table of content, and the links would take a viewer to your supporting pages. The largest area, indicated here in purple, is where the main content of your page would reside. At the bottom is the footer area, where you might include the name of the person or company who created the site, copyright information, and even more links. Now let's look at a web page that has been formatted to look like this illustration. You see the header section, the link section on the left, the main area for general content, and the footer area. So how is this achieved? <clears throat> First I will show you the code used to make this page using HTML4. The first part of the code is the doctype declaration. The next down is an opening HTML tag indicating a link to the WC3. The next important tag is the meta tag, which in this case tells us which car set is used for the page. After the opening body tag is a div tag. Div tags are used to create areas or divisions of your web page. In this case, the div tag is called outside, and it merely is a container for the whole page to be located within. The CSS at the top sets the width of the div and other important information. Now you will see there is a div with an ID called header, and the CSS indicates its size and color. After that, there is a div called left links, where the links are located in this example. Next is a div for the main area, and it is called main stuff. After that is the footer area. Each of these areas will always be formatted using CSS. Now let's look at the differences in the code using HTML5. Although the code results in the same look of the web page, we are now seeing a change in the markup. See how the doc type merely says HTML. The opening HTML tag only indicates that the language is English, and the meta tag just says car set equals UTF-8. One new mention is the script source equals modernizer. This is open source script to detect support for the new HTML5 and CSS3 features. This page still uses a div formatted with CSS to set the page width, but the other div tags we used in the HTML4 document are gone. Now there is a new semantic element called header. As with HTML4, you might use this area to introduce your web page. The next new tag down is the nav tag where you might put a block of links to your supporting pages within your directory. The main area of the page is indicated using a section tag. And finally the footer area is indicated using a footer tag. Each of these new semantic elements will be formatted using CSS. Just to note, there can be more than one occurrence of each of these new elements in your web page. And finally, here's what your page might look like once you have included a banner and some links on the left, content in the main area, and a few links at the bottom of the page. Well, okay, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for upcoming videos, and don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment. Until the next time, this is Ron with The Code Guys.